Thursday the 28th of July 2011. It's today's United Kingdom talk. Just to let you know, uh, there'll be no show tomorrow because I've got a wedding to go to later today, okay? So I'm not gonna have time to uh, make a show for tomorrow. No show on Friday. Oh, <laughs> here she, you know who it is, don't you? Do I even need to tell you who's just arrived at my feet? Katie has arrived again. Come on in, if you're coming up, come up to, oh, do you wanna come up? What do you wanna do? I can hear lots of purring. Sorry to cut you short yesterday, um, but there was someone at the door. Unfortunately, it wasn't the postman, it was the Jehovah's Witness people. And I usually dispatch with them fairly quickly. Um, all right, so sorry about that, I had to cut you short. But I was looking in my box of things that I found in my shed, and here it is. My general certificate of education examination. Yes, boys and girls, the ordinary level, O level, Look at this. From June 1979, this is to certify that Christopher Reardon of the London Oratory School obtained the grades indicated in the following subjects. Look at that. English language, grade C. Mathematics, grade E. Oh dear. Music, grade E. And physics, grade C. All signed by Mr. Stevenson at the bottom there, on behalf of the University of London. Uh, excuse me, look, she's jumped straight on the chair. Are you taking over my chair? If you don't mind, lady. Oh, she bit me then. That's my chair, if you don't mind, not yours. Thank you. So these are my um, uh, GCSEs, and I retook the maths one the next year, June 1980, and I got a bit better, a grade D, <laughs> which actually isn't a pass. A, B and C are passes, and D and E are sort of not passes, but I mean, you've still got something. Uh, the worst one you can get is U unclassified. And there were other subjects I took um, and the fact that they're not on here means they were unclassified. I think I got unclassified for um, religious education, uh, geography, what else? I can't, rem can't remember what else actually. So there we are. You thought I was a bit cleverer than that, did you? <laughs> I wasn't academic. I hated uh, learning. I could never learn things from books. I found it very, very difficult to learn things from books indeed. Um, here's another one here. GCSE, O-level, drama and theatre arts, grade E. Oh dear, dear. Oh, this is, this is, this is, oh, there's a phone call now. Oh, we don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. So we turn that off. We don't take calls from people we don't know. There's one here from the Metropolitan uh, Certificate of Secondary ed Education, that's the GCSE. French, grade three. Biology, grade two. That was a slightly different um, uh, uh, examination. So, um, you know, I'm sorry to tell you that, you know, I, I'm now admitted to you that actually I wasn't very clever. I still don't think I am very clever, actually. But, uh, you know, I managed to get a few points there. What else did I find in this marvellous box? Wandsworth Public Library's Reading Competition, August 1970. Check this out, right? Christopher Reardon has successfully completed the competition by reading 10 of the set books and answering the questions correctly. Now, regular viewers and listeners to the show will wonder how on earth I read 10 books in, I think it was six weeks, because we used to do this competition in the, in the school summer holidays with the library at Roehampton Library. And the idea is you read 10 books and then answer some questions on them within those six weeks. Uh, but you, you kind of did most of this all at home, if I remember rightly. And um, <laughs> I'm gonna admit this to you now. I've actually got the certificate for August 1970, right? I've got the certificate for August 1971. I've got the certificate for August 1972. So, 
the question is, if, if I was never a great reader of books, how did I get those? And I've got to tell you, my mum did it for me. It was me. <laughs> my mum was brilliant. She got me these certificates. I, I, I won other competitions and that in newspapers, not because I did them, because my mum done them. She used to do these competitions and send off the, it's very clever, send off the, and, and, and I'd get the prize. How wonderful is that? <laughs> so really, I've, I've got those certificates. I have defrauded Roehampton Library by pretending to read 10 books in the, in the early 1970s, but not actually having done so. And my mum did all the work. All I had to do was copy out the answers. Shocking, isn't it, really? <laughs> Come on, have you ever done that? Have you got children at home? Mums, dads maybe, would you do that for your child? I think I would. Absolutely, just to, just to see the face of, um, of, uh, of, of, of my child's um, face receiving that certificate. I mean, God knows what went through my mum's mind when she came along to watch me collect the certificates. <laughs> I've got some other bits and pieces here. Look at this. Um, the Scout certificates, because I was in the uh, first Roehampton Scouts, Cubs and Scouts, they were one as proper, so to speak. Um, some here. Certificate, First Roehampton, Christopher Reardon for taking part in the 1972 Interpac Sixes competition. One there, look, look, I've got to keep all these things, haven't I? One here. King of the Boxes, Hope Hill Campsite, May 1974. Now, King of the Boxes, do you know that game that you play with a paper and a pen and you've got a piece of paper with lots of dots on it and you have to make boxes out of the box, out of the dots. Yeah, well that was a competition that was running in this campsite and I won that one. I used to be a hundred meter runner in school and in scouts and I got first place in the 1978 Scouts Sports Day. Look at that. First place, thank you very much. Yes. Oh yeah, we've done a few bit. Oh, there's another. Another reading competition one here. I wonder what year that was. Doesn't say, it just says August. Um, ah, look, I'm so glad I found these. Here's my first Holy Communion certificate. I don't know if they give out these things now, actually. Uh, Christopher Reed received the Blessed Eucharist for the first time, St. Joseph's Roehampton, May the 24th, 1970. And it's, and it's signed by Father Symes. <gasps> he, was, he was a proper priest, he was. Father Symes, a real family priest. One has died now a few years ago. Wonderful, wonderful man. Um, what else we got here? London Oratory School, swimming certificates. First of all, I managed 25 yards. <laughs> and then, in 1975, I managed 50 yards, check that out, check that out, 50 yards, wow, how are we doing on time, <laughs> we should have finished by now, never mind, um, I think that's about it actually, all these little bits and these certificates that I've found in here, let's just have one more look, the cat has decided to sit on all the certificates, never mind, you're happy there aren't you, oh no, I've got another one here, Okay, the Chief Scouts Award. That was um, a, 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 an award quite high up within the Scout movement, and I actually achieved that in December 1978. The Chief Scouts Award. These are looking a bit dirty, some of these certificates, but um, I think what I'll do with these actually is scan them in. I'll scan them into the computer and save them like that, and that's, uh, that'd be a pretty good idea to do, I think. Here in the UK, um, we have a publication called the Radio Times. It's basically all the TV stations and what's on. And I found again in my box of many things, a Radio Times from January 1980. Check this out, okay? Now, Saturday nights on the BBC in the 70s and the 80s 
were absolutely legendary, fantastic. You didn't want to go out on a Saturday night because the programs were so good. So let's have a look at the 5th of January 1980. We had the old um, multicoloured swap shop in the morning. Excellent kids show, children's show with Noel Edmonds. Grandstand was on every day with the iconic Frank Boff. He was, he was on so many programmes. He did that and Nationwide, uh, like a current affairs programme. What was the other one he did? Oh, there was another one. Oh, he did Breakfast Time. Uh, but he was the, the main anchor, anchor man for Grandstand in the 80s. Great presenter. Holiday on Ice, the news. Doctor Who with Tom Baker. Okay, check that out. Where is it now? Doctor Who, Tom Baker there. Followed by the wonderful Jimmy Savile. Jim will fix it. Oh, wow. Let's turn that over, see what was on after that. Oh, yeah. All Creatures Great and Small. The Dick Emery Show, Dallas, yes, on a Saturday night, Dallas, and then Match of the Day and then Parkinson. Those, those days in the 80s and the 70s on the BBC, Saturday nights were absolutely iconic. You, 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 as I say, you just never wanted to go out. Anyway, I've run out of time to, to talk to you today on the show. Thanks very much for watching and listening as always. Some more emails coming up in the next show. Don't forget, there won't be a show tomorrow because I've got a, a wedding to go to. Pretty Boy Steve, who used to come... Uh, to Belushi's on Monday night for the karaoke. Well, it's his wedding on uh, what well, later today, Thursday, Thursday morning, I think. Uh, Thursday morning, 11, uh, was it 12.30, at a, a lovely place called Fulham Palace, which is in um, Bishop's Park, right next to the River Thames. So I'm going there today. And uh, I should take some pictures and that, perhaps so that show them to you as well. There's an email address to the show, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.com. Dot co .uk. Chris at UnitedKingdomTalk.co.uk. See you on the next show. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye-bye.